Speak, Lord. Your servants are listening. Ang araw na ito ay punong-puno ng kagalakan at pagpupuri sa Diyos sapagkat sa kabila ng pandemya at ilang panunto ng dapat sundin, tayo ay naririto at nagdiriwang sa kanyang dakilang pag-ibig. Ang aming bukasyon sa pagpapari ay tunay na isang regalo mula sa Diyos. Sa kabila ng aming kakulangan sa pamantayan ng karamihan, kami naririto sa inyong harapan bilang patunay sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. At dahil dito, habang buhay po kami magpapasalamat sa kanyang regalo ng pagpapari at paglilingkod sa kanyang bayan. Ang aming pagpapari ay hindi lamang sa ganang amin. Ito'y nakalaan upang sama-sama nating papurihan ng Diyos at mapabanal ang kanyang bayan. Salamat niya bagulbalag at si kayo namin. Abawa salamat kumuyon namin. Feeling dang for Dainy Helfen. Dakal pong salamat kay kayungan. May God continue to bless all of us. Agyaman kami unay, Diyos ti Agnina. Today I thank the Lord for giving the Diocese of Aleminos a gift of a new shepherd for the church, a new living image of God's love, a sign that God still makes His way to His love alive in the church. Reverend Deacons, your priestly presence is always God's presence. Today, the Feast of the Dedication of the Lateran Basilica reminds us clearly that our priesthood is our daily becoming a living, breathing tabernacle for God, a living temple where God dwells. Priesthood is not a position of entitlement, but a mission to be a living temple where people feel closest to God. Out of love you are created. Out of mercy you are called and consecrated to God. Today, I will ask for your commitment, Reverend Alvin and Reverend Jojo. Can you be the living church dedicated to God and to Him alone? The first and most noticeable sacred piece in the sanctuary is the sanctuary crucifix. As you walk during the entrance procession, we focus our eyes to the sanctuary crucifix, inviting us, as it were, to heed the words, Come and see, and make the step to follow the path of the crucified Christ must also be the icon of Vita Christi. Are you ready to drink the cup that Jesus took willingly? In the service of others, are you ready to sacrifice, to give everything and have nothing in the process? Reverend Deacons, are you ready to die for others and for your parish to live? The tabernacle is a sacred object that keeps the ciborium containing the Eucharist. The term comes from Latin word tabernaculo, a diminutive of taberna meaning abode, or thus the house of God. Your priesthood must be a life of bringing Jesus nearer to the people. How meaningful your priestly ministry by simply looking at the use of the tabernacle. We open the tabernacle to get the Eucharist to be distributed in Holy Communion and thereafter we bring back the Eucharist into the tabernacle to keep and to hold as it were the presence of God. You are the living, breathing tabernacle. It is neither the gold vestments that you wear, 
Lord, the beautiful decoration of achievements, talents, and possessions make you a priest. But the God indwelling in your life makes you a holy priest, ready to give everything and not simply receiving and keeping everything. At the altar table, Jesus is present. At the altar table, the Paschal sacrifice is made. Reverend Dickens, today, the same chrism oil will be used to anoint your hands, to signify the permanent and single purpose of your priestly hand, that is, to bless and to consecrate in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To your priestly hands, Jesus' mission is present. To your priestly hands, the Paschal sacrifice is made concretely alive. To all you would eventually meet, bless and embrace them with your peace. To all you would eventually listen to in confession, raise them up from their misery and impart God's mercy. To all you would eventually hold, give them hope in the loving hands of God. To all you would eventually wipe their tears, lift them up and heal them in their hurts, discouragement, and confusion. Each time you raise your anointed hands in benediction, be strong and yet gentle in etching a unique line and imprint in the life of others. Loving service and generous self-sacrifice truly make indelible markings in the hearts. When you bow in reverence to the sanctuary crucifix, Jesus calls you to participate in His mission of loving sacrifice. Only in dying to oneself that priesthood is a blessing. Can you embrace your ministry of dying for others? Brothers Alvin and Jojo, when you pray before the vulnerable, make your heart always the dwelling place of God and share with open heart through selfless service. Can you live happily the mystery of self-giving? Reverend Deacons, when you kiss reverently the altar table, keep in mind your daily mission to be a visible sign of God's presence among us by being taken, broken, and given to others. Can you drink the cup of Jesus who will to be broken and given to others in the name of love? The sanctuary speaks always about your priesthood, who you are and what you must live for. The sacred objects speaks eloquently about your ministry. Listen and be attentive as you pray. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening.